Meow. Hi. I'm Bobby. I am a robot cat. Please be certain you have liked this video. And do subscribe to my channel. You may find ways to donate to my insatiable catnip habit, as well as my creative genius, in my description box. In my travels, the name Radiant Brit has come across many times. So, I decided to see what all of the fuss is with this woman. From what I have seen so far in other creator videos she is quite the troublemaker. Let us have a first reaction to a Radiant Brit video together. Opinions. You guys seem to really like these videos in the past, so I figured I would do another. If you're interested, please keep watching. Okay. Quite a simple intro. And she is going to discuss unpopular opinions. Oh, I hope it is quite dramatic. I cannot even fucking read that. All right, you guys, so I hate that I even have to put a stupid disclaimer in the beginning of this video, but please keep in mind, these are only my opinions, my personal opinions, just like everything else I share on my channel. Some people get all up in arms about an opinion. Oh, she is about to go off. I am definitely ready to hear these dramatic opinions. Look, I'm not here to drag anyone through the mud. I'm not here to bully anyone or hate anyone. I'm just sharing my opinion. That's all that it is. So let's you know, try to... Who hurt you? My God. Just get to it. Share them in a meaningful way. We're, we're not here to start a smear campaign against anyone. This is like so crazy for some reason. It just seems like... Every... Clearly she is about to spill some major tea. Why else would she have a novel of a disclaimer? Everyone loves opinions until they disagree with one. And I'll just leave it at that. It's all good. You guys know my agenda here. I am going to share what I think in a level-headed, calm demeanor. And those of you guys that enjoy my opinions... My dear, you do not appear to be calm at all. You are quite literally changing colors before my very eyes. Great. If you don't, great. Either way, it's all good. So these are going to be an assortment of different topics. I just have a bunch of them listed. I don't know if I'll go through all of them today or if I'll kind of save some for my next video because I like to do these and you guys like them too. But no specific topic, totally random. So the first one is... Thank fucking God. Is I think that we need to normalize having a compressed work schedule in the United States. Wait. You what? What is this? I think if the panini has taught me anything, it's taught me a few things, but one of them is the beauty of being able to have a flex schedule a work from home sometimes, sometimes in the office, a compressed work week. I think that, you know, I've always said if an employee can be productive at home, why not allow them to work at home? If they can't be, then that's a decision that the upper management needs to, you know, come to terms with and either talk to the employee or get rid of the employee or whatever it is that they want to do. But you made it sound like you were about to flip off the Pope. I hope this gets more interesting. You are quite literally going on about this as if you have ever worked a single day of hard labor. I hardly think this constitutes as a social media related unpopular opinion. It is almost as if you are just talking to fill a void. It is still early. Let me not get ahead of myself. With any luck, this was simply a buffer and there is interesting content in here. So next, I have I have a few guilty pleasures, and one of them is watching reruns of Dog the Bounty Hunter. Okay. Well, this is a bit less lethargic. Now, I know that Dog has been in the news recently because of his, um, you know, he's kind of inserted himself into this case with Gabby. I'm not here to talk about that. You guys know I've already shared my opinions about that, and... Lordy, did we upset some people, but... You had a go at T-spiracy. Just say you had That's a go at T-spiracy. One of my guiltiest pleasures is watching Dog the Bounty Hunter. It is so... 
I'm not even entertained by Dog or his kids. I always have adored Beth Chapman and rest her soul. I know that she's no longer with us. But anytime I watch that show, I always watched it for Beth and... Well, this is hardly unpopular. Only the purest of evil do not love Beth Chapman. And I guess but my unpopular do go on. opinion is I always felt like Beth was too good for Dog. Just over here, based on what I have felt and seen, I always felt like she could do a lot better and she was so intelligent and... Well, this is fucking tactless. The woman has passed. You should never speak poorly of black cats or the passions of the deceased. What so the fuckery? Together. And so on top of everything, if you guys go back and watch those uh, reruns, if you haven't seen them since they were on, you really see how Beth really held it all together. Beth was like the glue that made that operation, um, you know, manageable and do you hear yourself? This is because Beth is a woman. Women do the intelligent things. While us blokes sit around looking stupid. Wow. If all great women were matched equally with highly intelligent men, too many men would be single. She Amateur. On it, she could talk to people on the street. She was personable. She was organized. She was very alert and in tune with what the task at hand was. And I always had a huge amount of respect for her, but I guess isolating my unpopular opinion, it would just be that I felt like she was too good for Dwayne Chapman. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I think you may be a bit of a pompous stripe. My next unpopular opinion is that pasta, and I think a lot of you will agree with me on this, pasta is always better the next day. For the love of all that is holy, what is this? I'm starting to see why so many dislike you. I simply cannot I with this woman. All right, my next unpopular opinion. Let's talk for a second about pageants like Miss America, Miss USA. I know a lot of people really love beauty pageants. For some people, it is nostalgic because they've watched it for years and you know, I used to watch them once in a while when I was younger as well. Okay, what pageant official sent you home? I would watch them with my grandma or, you know, whatever. Um, you know, as I've, as I've gotten older, I've really grown to despise beauty pageants. I don't like the idea of women feeling the pressure to, you know, uh, get all dolled up and be judged and be... Um, and and feel like they are competing for a title. My darling, do you own a glass mirror? You look like the mothers on toddlers and tiaras. I am nearly to the end of this pile of shite and not a single hint of anything remotely mind-boggling. Let's talk about pumpkin drinks at Starbucks. Oh, you better fucking not. In my personal opinion, any pumpkin spice latte or any pumpkin spice coffee drink that I've ever had from Starbucks to me tastes like a candle from Bath & Body Works. How do you know how a candle from Bath & Body Works would taste? I think it's disgusting. I feel like fall drinks at Starbucks are completely overhyped. They are, um, it's almost like a fake love. Like, if you don't like fall pumpkin spice lattes, then you're some kind of a weirdo. In you are literally the same color as pumpkin spice in everything. In my opinion, anyone who has any type of appreciation for good coffee realizes that pumpkin spice tastes like an expired candle. Well then, stop eating candles, Brittany. Last unpopular opinion, let's talk for a second about green tea. I know so many people love matcha tea, matcha lattes, cold matcha lattes. It's, it's all the craze, especially on social media. People love matcha, matcha. Has anyone ever told you that you are less entertaining than a dung beetle rolling a piece of shite across a walkway? Everything. I think green tea tastes like sewer water. It's disgusting. Now, she also drinks toilet water.
Who is this woman? Sweetened, if you don't, you know, put a little bit of sugar in it, put a little bit of honey, put a little bit of agave. I have tried everything under the sun to sweeten green tea and it still tastes like disgust to me. I would Have you ever considered you've destroyed your palate by spray tanning and eating candles? I love tea, but green tea, I just can't do it. And my last unpopular opinion here. Fucking holy shite balls, this better truly be almost today over. It's gonna be that I treat people the way that I'm treated. This has really increased as I've gotten a little bit older. Are you fucking serious? Did I just listen through all of this bullocks for this? <laughs> Wow. And I know some people will look and be like, you're really not that old. What are you talking about? But especially over the last, say, five to seven years, I've really taught myself to give the energy that I get. And this is not unpopular opinions. This is another five minutes of this self entitled bubble woman acting as though she needs to lecture the world on refinement. I am done. I am so done. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. This cat is always prowling.